Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing great. As promised, here we go. We're going to make arigata. So I'm going to just drain my nuts. I've got one cup that I've soaked. Now I am going to, uh, I don't have a recipe for this. I just eyeball everything. So I'm just going to show you how simple it really is to make it just without having to measure this and that. The only thing I measure are my nuts, which is one cup that I have soaked. And I am not using cashews. I am using almonds. So to this, what are we going to do? We're going to put, um, I'm going to use milk all the way to the nuts. And I'm using almond milk, you can use soy milk, you can use cashew milk, it's really up to you what milk you want to use, but it has to be a vegan milk. So milk all the way up to the nuts. And what that does is just makes it a lot more creamier rather than using just the water. Here we go. So we've got the nuts, milk to the nuts. To that we're going to add salt. I'm telling you guys, this is really, really simple. And I'm going to say, we don't want this too salty. Maybe I should measure it for you. Let me measure it. Let me see. Did my daughter use the measuring spoons? Hold on. Let me see. I have to dry them. Okay. So here's my teaspoon. So we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Remember, a regatta isn't salty. Okay. To this, we're going to add uh, four tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm going to cut this up. Here we go. So I'm going to measure this. Am I going to do this right for that? That's one. Erica, can you hold a spoon for me, love? There you go, just hold it right there. Okay, let's try this again. One. Okay, two. Put it in. Yeah. And yeah, I guess this full lemon. One lemon is gonna give me four. Big lemon. Yeah, it's a big lemon. Cool. Oh, cool. I got a seed. You're also pouring it out. Doesn't matter if I get extra. And this is the last one. So yeah, basically we have one large lemon will give you... Okay, dump it, Erica. Thank you. So basically one large lemon gave me four tablespoons of... Um, of citrus but I'm gonna keep it here just in case I need to squeeze a little more in so now to this I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'll tell you how much I'm gonna add so like I said I am eyeballing this so if I need more I will add more and measure it for you so but for now I'm just gonna use it this way oh my maple yeah there you go and I'm gonna use about half a tablespoon of maple. Ricotta has a sweetness to it. Okay, so we're gonna just give this a whirl. And you, this is where you need that powerful, uh, you need a powerful blender. If you don't have a powerful blender, you're not gonna get your, uh, you're not gonna get, oh, sorry about that. You need a powerful blender. If you don't have a powerful blender, it's not gonna get as creamy as you want it. So I'm just gonna blend this up. Okay, I probably need to still blend it. Let me see. A little longer, but the taste is pretty perfect. You're going you're gonna to taste the tanginess, but that's okay. Uh, but we do want to blend this just a little longer. You want this as creamy as you can get it. And I still feel, if I touch it, I feel just a little bit of granulars. Now this one will be a little more granular than the compared to the other one, but as it sits, that feel is going to go away from you. Ooh, awesome. Okay, that's pretty, 
that's pretty good okay so now if I want to use this right away you see how whoop, look what I did here okay if I want to use this right away it's too watery right so you're gonna have to put pepper carrageenan because and if you don't put enough liquids you're not gonna get a good mixture this everything's gonna stick to the bottom you're gonna be getting upset with yourself because you're not gonna be able to get it mixed the way you want it so you need that liquid to get it as creamy as you can get it so now you want to use this right away or later on this evening this is not gonna cut it for you you've got a sauce you don't have a ricotta so what you're gonna do there we go you're gonna put one two teaspoons of tapa carrageenan and you're gonna blend this till nice and thick for you okay do you see what happened to the mixture do you see how thick that is look at the difference between the earlier mixture now if you want to put this in the fridge this is going to firm up even more here we go now I can use just a little extra salt so I will put another half a teaspoon or so but again taste it if you like it less salty do it less salty and I'm just gonna give it another whirl really simple to do guys and our ricotta is done how fast was that now this is still watery compared to the one that you make where you let the whey come out it's still a lot watery than that if you put this in the fridge and you let it stay overnight that means plan this ahead ahead of time that means if you want to make this tonight you should have had done this yesterday uh, if you're gonna do it today you can prepare your meal tomorrow make those beautiful stuffed peppers and by the way somebody spotted a tiny little caterpillar on my basil leaves I came up I says oh my god it's true there's a little caterpillar I says thank god I washed the leaves before I I made my pesto but I want to show you he's in here see he's got his own little his own little compartment he could eat all the basil he wants and the rest of my other basil is where it belongs so here we go lucky him right the rest of them probably went into the sink does that make me a bad vegan? I, I couldn't even see that little guy. So, but I gave him his own, his own little home and he's safe and sound. He could eat all the basil he wants. Hopefully the weather is going to change and then he could go outside and do his, his thing. So here we go. I am going to clean this up. Here we go. We are going to put this either in a plate, whatever you have. I have all these containers from before, so I just keep using them. I do have to get rid of all the plastics. We try not to buy plastics anymore. After we watched that video, oh my God, you've got to watch it. The Plastic World, I think it's called. We really want to stay away from as much plastic as we can. But the stuff that I have, like this spatula's got a plastic handle. The world is plastic. It's kind of sad, isn't it? But try and do your part. Try and buy less. Like try and go somewhere where you could actually fill your stuff in in jars. There's places that will do that, you know. Some, unfortunately, we can't, but reuse it as much as you can, you know. Try not to buy things in plastic if you can't. Like, instead of buying mayonnaise, make your own. There's so many ways you can do this. Okay, so here we go. Now we have this ricotta that's not as thick as the one you make when you get the way out, right? So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to put some paper towels on this. And you're just going to flip it upside down. Where is my paper towels? I keep losing them. Too many, too many chefs in this kitchen. Okay, so yes, we will be wasting some paper towels, but 
it's worth it because we're making delicious regatta. Okay, fold it. I've got quite a few sheets, as you can see, and my dog is barking at anybody that wants to pass near our house. So we're going to, let's see, put it this way, I guess. And we're gonna put it upside down like this. It's gonna drop itself on top of this cloth and it's going to pick up as much liquids. Hold on a second. Let me just get him out of here. JJ. Come on. Don't do that. Stop it. you got to be a good Alright, so there we go. We put it in a container and we're gonna put this. See? It's just gonna drop. Look what's happening. See, it's already picking up moisture, but the regatta is still intact. And eventually this is gonna drop down and it's gonna start shrinking on you. Here we go. Onto a plate, put it straight in the fridge, and that carrageenan is gonna tighten it. Now, if you wanted to not if you don't want to use carrageenan whatsoever you can still do it without but you're gonna to have to let it sit like this for longer days that means instead of one day maybe two days and you're going to change the towels as soon as you see that the towel is wet all the way up to here get new towels just take a new bundle of paper it's not the end of the world put it in compost you're still recycling your paper instead of being wasteful in the in the garbage so there you go that's how simple this ricotta is takes really no time at all i did more talking than i did showing you how to make it sorry and very simple and very delicious i'll show you what i have left here is the one that i used yesterday and there's my paper right underneath and if you touch this paper it is soaking wet but look how beautiful that ricotta is that's no different than the one i made and now it's what day two you don't even feel the little granulars anymore so it's doable i will change you know what i won't change the paper because it's nice and firm i'm just going to leave it like this and use it up today so very easy guys the one i made earlier the new one this year by tomorrow you're gonna see but check it like I said you're gonna see that it's um, it's dropped down and it's nice and firm and uh, if you have to uh, what you could do is if you see it's not firm enough fast enough just move it around move it around and put back your cloth and then let it stay upside down we're still removing what you call the way we removed a couple of steps on how to make this regatta and we didn't discard the pulp it's in there but you would never know you would never know there was pulp in there now um, if you're making well actually I'll do that in another recipe next recipe I'm gonna show you uh, this is like a this is like a, a cream cheese the longer it sits like this is day two now this has become a cream cheese it's like delicious guys you have to make it you have to make it to see how good it is you could also put if you want where I've added a tiny sliver of onion a very tiny sliver when I say tiny sliver just when you take your onion just cut a thin almost paper thin onion you can put it inside while you're blending it and it adds a different character to your regatta. Really, really good, especially if you're using it in lasagnas. I wouldn't do that if you're using it on toast. Leave it simple. But if you're using it in lasagna or if you're using it in uh, raviolis or if you're using it, you can put a little sliver of onion in your regatta. But it ha don't put garlic. No, no, no garlic that tiny paper thin sliver of onion that you can do and it just changes it's almost like a goat almost like a goat cheese ricotta really really good so these are little tips I'm giving you guys I've been doing it for a long long time first time I did the kappa carrageenan in here usually I don't put it at all and 
uh, actually it's the second time I'm doing the cup of carrageen in here. I normally don't put it at all. I just let it sit like this and I let it sit for a couple of days changing paper. But I did use a kappa because I was in a rush. I wanted to make the video for the peppers. And there you go. I did so. But uh, like I said, people are afraid to use it. Don't use it. Make it simple. Just a longer procedure. That's all it is. You just have to wait a little longer. You have to be a little more patient. And I have to stop talking because I talk way too much. But I want to say thank you guys. And uh, good luck on your regatta. Give it a try. Come back. Let me know once it's done how you like the taste. Don't tell me, oh, I made it, but it doesn't taste right because it's kind of watery. Wait till it sets and then come back and tell me. Not everybody likes the same stuff, right? Some people like it saltier. Some people like it less salty. Some people like it tangier. Some people like it less tangy. So, and you can even put pro uh, probiotics in here. If you really want to get all the benefits you want. You could also take a little probiotic capsule after you blended it because if you overheat it, you're gonna use the, lose the benefit of the probiotics. So after you've blended everything, take a probiotic, dump it in there, mix it in with a chopstick, and you could even get some probiotics in your ricotta. So there's many ways of doing this and getting all the benefits, and especially this. The, you can't get better than um, ricotta made with almonds because Number one, it's good for you. Uh, number two, it's good for you. And number three, guess what? Uh, you're not hurting any animals. And number four, uh, it's healthy for you. You don't have all those animal products that are gonna clog your arteries. So there you go. Do it, come back and tell me what you think. And I'll see you in my next video guys. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.